This pretty pattern is not three-dimensional, it's actually flat, but I did use my 3D printer to make it, and in this video I will show you how to do the same. G'day makers! This pattern is made by varying the direction of the lines on the first layer of the 3D print so that it diffracts the light to create this kind of effect, which I think is really beautiful. This texture is not one you can reproduce using traditional means. You can't put paint or glitter onto a surface and get this kind of effect. It's 3D printing that allows us to make it, and I think that makes it pretty special. To make your own first layer patterns, you'll need to make an SVG of your chosen design, then convert that to G-code using a plugin for Cura, and then you will slice your 3D model and replace the first layer G-code of your model with the G-code for your pattern and print it off. The first step to any project is getting inspired. Originally, I wanted to make a wood grain pattern in wood grain filament because I thought that would be pretty neat, but it proved difficult to vector, so instead I made this tumbling block design inspired by the Yusegi patterns on a beautiful Japanese puzzle box that my grandparents had. Once you know what you want your design to be, you will need to make it in a vector program like Inkscape or Illustrator and save it as an SVG file. I have some videos on Inkscape, which is free and open source, that I've been releasing over the last couple of days to kind of lead into this video, so if you've never used it before, check those out and you can get started. Some things to remember when making your SVG file is that pixels in your SVG will correspond to millimetres in your slicer, so set your stroke width to your nozzle diameter, which is probably 0.4 millimetres, so set it to 0.4 pixels in Inkscape. This will ensure that your line width is correct when you bring it into Cura so that you don't over or under extrude. Lines should be your nozzle width apart so that they just touch each other to fill the whole area. You want to join all your lines up into one very big long line because if you don't it can cause errors when you import it and also any travel moves will mar your pattern. And finally, add a skirt to prime your nozzle. If this is all sounding a bit too intimidating, I'll post links to designs I've used in this video in the description. I've had to centre my design around the top left corner because I'm using a delta machine which has a centre point at 0, 0. If you have a Cartesian, you will want to put it inside that top left corner so that it'll appear that way on your bed as well. When you're happy, save your SVG and grab the 3D model you want to attach it to, slice that as normal in Cura and set that G-code aside for later. Open the Cura Marketplace and scroll down to SVG Toolpath Reader by Ghostkeeper and install that. Then import your SVG by clicking and dragging it into Cura. You can hit play to check that your nozzle is starting at the skirt, and if not, go back into Inkscape and attach the skirt to the other end of your very big long line. You'll also want to check that the pattern covers the full base of your model. I did this in a simple image editor using two screenshots of the top views in Cura. When you're happy, save the G-code to file. Now we're going to splice the two G-codes together. This is not as scary as it seems, I promise. We're just going to be replacing layer 1 on the code of the sliced model with our code for the pretty pattern. If you've never seen G-code before, it's basically a list of coordinates telling your printer where to move and how much plastic to squeeze out as it goes. It's a pretty human-friendly language, but there's a great library on the Marlin website if you want to learn to read it. That said, you don't really need to be able to read it in order to follow this tutorial. You'll want to open both your G-code files in a text editor. Notepad will work. I prefer Notepad++ because there's a plugin that highlights the G-code in a way that makes it a bit easier to read, but really any text editor will do as long as you don't use something like Microsoft Word. The beginning and end of your model file will have some code to set up the machine. We want to keep this, and thankfully it has comments telling us where each layer starts. Layer 0 is our first layer, so all we need to do is look for layer 1 in our model code and remove everything between layer 1 and layer 0 to delete the first layer. Then we can copy the corresponding bit from our pattern g-code into that spot, thus replacing the first layer of our model with our pattern. Then you print it, and when it's done, take it off the build plate and cut off the excess of the pattern with a pair of scissors. And then you have it, your own custom pattern. My print didn't come out as perfectly as I'd hoped, I think my printer is having a few mechanical issues, but I hope you get the general idea. 
And I hope you make your own. I would love, 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 love to see what you do. So please tag me on the socials. <laughs> I'm also really keen to see what other patterns people make. I'd love to try the wood grain still, and I really like the glittery look of this gossiper curve. I also think this technique would be really cool for light diffusers, like on lampshades and stuff. But what ideas do you have? Let me know in the comments below. I get so, so, so inspired by all the amazing people in this community, so I would really love to hear your ideas. And as always, an enormous thank you to my patrons. You make this possible, and I love you for it. <laughs> I'm starting to try and make a living out of this whole making thing, so if you learn something new from this and you'd like to keep it rolling, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every dollar counts. <laughs> G'day! Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share me around. <laughs> if you have any questions about this content, or you just want to hang out, I have Twitter, Patreon, Discord, and a website. <laughs> and that's it! Thanks for joining! See you later!